Hello all. Welcome to the new Simply Put series by Kalam IS Academy. This is Priyanka Mahapatra, faculty at Kalam IS. So today we'll be having a discussion on the newspaper dated March 2nd, 2024. So today is Saturday. We are not having the text and the context section of the Hindu newspaper. Coming to the explain section of the Indian Express newspaper, one article was important about the development of Aganega and the India's vision for its maritime neighborhood. Then we would be also taking up a book review today. So these are the two things we are going to discuss today which are displayed on your screen. So first thing we are going to take up today is a book review. The name of the book being Gentle Resistance. It is an autobiography of Chandi Prashad Bhatt. So many of you might not be knowing about this personality. This personality is best known for his role in the Chipko movement. Chipko movement, as you all know, it was a non-violent protest that was happening in order to save trees from being cut down in the Himalayan mountains. Okay, so this book of him gives us a very powerful and inspiring account of his life, his work as a remarkable environmental activist. So basically subscribe to the Gandhian principles of non-violence and satyagraha. So his basic philosophy of activism was rooted in the Gandhian principles of non-violence and satyagraha. That means truth force, which emphasized upon the peaceful protest, community mobilization, having dialogues in order to achieve the environmental justice. Right. And this book also recounts the courageous actions of the villagers particularly the women who kind of embraced, who kind of hugged the trees in order to prevent them from being felled. So this kind of non-violent resistance captured the whole world's attention and forced the government to reconsider its forestry policies after. So this movement's most no notable success was a 15-year ban on the commercial tree felling in the Himalayan region imposed in 1980 by the Indian government and similar bans were also implemented in other parts of India later. Right. And this movement also brought attention to the need of having stricter environmental regulations. So we can see how a peaceful protest can make such a big, big change. Then coming to his personality, he valued equality. He rejected discrimination based on social status. He rejected the social hierarchies as well. Because despite coming from priestly class, he challenged the rigid caste system, particularly the practice of untouchability. He recognized the importance of lower caste communities. He recognized the importance of having iron smiths, carpenters, basket weavers, because they were integral to the wider village community. Right? So this gentle resistance book is not just a memoir. It is a call to action and his story serves as an inspiration for all those who are concerned about the environment and those who believe in the power of non-violent resistance. And this book also reminds us that even ordinary people can make a difference in protecting our planet. Right. So you can use this book review when you have a chance, when you have a scope of writing about any peaceful protest, the importance of having peaceful protest, importance of having dialogue um, and take uh, example of his personality where he broke all the social hierarchies. Then you can also give this book review whenever you have to write about the community mobilization, environmental justice. So these book reviews can be very handy uh, to your essay writing, to your ethics answers. Okay, so please keep note of these book reviews so that your answers become unique and it can be very much rewarding. Then we come to the second article that how the development of Agalega figures in the India's vision for its maritime neighborhood. So this place Agalega also becomes very, very important now for your prelims exam. So you should be knowing the exact location and to which country it belongs to. Okay, so Agalega is a group of two islands with a total area of 26 square kilometer and native population being there of around 300 people. It lies to the north of Mauritius and belongs to this island nation Mauritius. 
right so this development of agilaga islands by india is in the socio economic and national security interest of mauritius and also aligns with the india's maritime vision so first we will discuss that why is agilaga important to mauritius we just discussed that the islands inhabitants being only 300 and the well being of the islands inhabitants presented a challenge even the most basic needs required referral uh, to the mauritius always and there was a near absence of any official government or security presence there so it was kind of in a vulnerable situation but we are planning to build a jetty an air strip and therefore it will be considered very important by the government of mauritius okay so that this place will get developed and it has chosen india as their preferred development how will the development of agilega help mauritius firstly it will reduce the travel time before it used to take 2 days now it will be cut down to less than an hour flight second is about the employment and tourism so this development of associated infrastructure like jetty and air strip it will create employment for the local population and thereby it will also improve their well being and the tourism potential of the islands could also be increased thirdly about the credible government presence now this new jetty and air strip it will enable a larger and a more credible government presence on the island and it will be better now possible to monitor and police the vast ez of these islands then comes the important question that why did mauritians choose india because of the long ties between india and the mauritius that goes back to 1948 70% of the inhabitants of mauritius are of indian origin therefore these two countries they share deep historical social and cultural bonds then comes that what india is getting benefits out of it what are the advantages for india so because of the remoteness of agilega in the central indian ocean it will be very important it will be very crucial to maintain or to have maritime surveillance and security and by having such infrastructure like jetty and air strip it will strengthen our ability to monitor activities in the indian ocean region therefore it will also underscore it will also highlight the india's commitments to the vision of sagar security and growth for all in the region right and it will also showcase india's willingness to assist the smaller maritime nations in building capacity and developing capability like this because in pursuance of sagar india will be providing material support technical support to the maritime security apparatus of mauritius it will offer information exchange mechanisms it will conduct the joint maritime security exercises and patrols as mutually agreed by both the nations right so india is intending to emerge as the preferred development and security partner in the indian ocean region okay and by supporting mauritius like this india is portraying itself as a reliable and responsible partner in the region in the indian ocean region thereby fostering trust and goodwill right so this is all about you need to know about this news piece so that you give this example whenever you have the scope of writing um any answer with respect to the development in the indian ocean region or maritime security and surveillance right about the sagar if any question comes security and growth for all in the region right so the